What's up guys, this is FabDub17 here bringing you a brand new career mode slash mass league, whatever you want to call it, on Pro Evolution Soccer PES 2016 with Manchester United. And um, this this episode, because it's the first episode, is going to only have one game in it, but that's because I'm getting through like the initial setup and stuff, but in future I'll have at least two, maybe three games per episode. And I'm going to do about... I'll do five episodes, and uh, if I feel like people are enjoying this, then I'll keep doing them. But if I feel like people aren't really enjoying the series, then I'll, I'll probably stop it. Unless I, I feel like people want me to carry it on. So as you can see on the screen, I'm just going through the setup. I put it on the highest, hardest difficulty, superstar, eight minutes and a half. And I decided to go with um, the um, actual team lineups rather than the original Mass League lineups. I've chose United. Um, I've done the latest updates as of now, so obviously it hasn't got like you know the new tra brand new chances, but it's got you know um, it's more updated than what it started off with in Pez. Um, as you can see in a sec, there's animation of me walking around Old Trafford. That's what I like about uh, Pez. Like they have like these mini animations. Like for example, like Ballon d'Or winner, like when you've joined a new club, when you've got a new transfer, it just makes it feel a lot more real and better. The career mode, like FIFA, don't really have that at the moment. We'll see what they do for FIFA 17, but at the moment, Pez on that hand, they've got the up hand. As you can see there, the staff report and stuff. I've got actually a Champions League qualifier game, which is going to be absolutely crucial. And then on the Pez, you pretty much get straight into action. I've got a few days, and I've got a Premiership match against West Ham. The first thing I do is look at my team and just uh, place people up for transfer and they're up for the loan. And as you see in the screen here, I do decide to loan Lingard. Um, I loan basically the youngsters, apart from one I think, which I thought was a bit too crap so I just sold him. Um, I put McNair up for transfer. Um, <coughs> I put Phil Jones up for transfer actually as well. I just don't really rate him and um, I'm looking to bring in a centre back um, and possibly a striker so I guess you'll just have to see who I do decide to bring in. A midfielder will be very handy as well but it just depends on uh, how much budget I've got left over and stuff like that and you can see I'm just finishing off the putting on flow and stuff there's Rashford. As you can see, the first person on my mind for transfers was uh, the man himself, Ibrahimovic. He's actually, as of this moment, he's just he's just confirmed that he's going to Manchester United. So I thought, you know, a perfect time to try and sign Ibra for this uh, career mode. So that's exactly what I do. I um, send a scout for him. I actually set up a, a scouting instruction looking for a centre back because I feel like a, that's a key area for my team. And see if they come back with anything that I feel like will be a good signing. So yeah, I got the scouting set up. I uh, adjusted what I was looking for. So I was looking for a centre back within team budget, all that. Uh, I set up that and I'll see what they come back with. I've not really used it before, so I don't know how good it is or how realistic it is. Um, and there was another player in my mind. Obviously, I was looking to sign a centre back. I did set up the scouting network, but I wanted to see if I could get Laporte. So I send them. Um, uh, a scout over to him, but he's only two star like um, that is likely to happen. So I knew it's gonna be it was gonna be unlikely to sign him, but it was it was worth an attempt. So I'll see what happens. I continue a few days, and uh, on the fourth day, you can see um, I got update with transfers. Um, there had been a negotiation with uh, Ibrahimovic, so we'll just check see what it was. And as you can see in the screen, um, I did get offer for one of my youngsters, a full transfer, I just accepted it. And there he goes, got a bit of money for that one. And here's the big one, Ibrahimovic, look at that how much he costs, that is a lot of money. But you know, I thought, you know, I want to sign Ibra, I don't care what the price is, I'm signing Ibra. Even though it's going to risk me financially in this game. So, um, yeah, I did sign Ibra, but as you can see, Laporte deal did break down, but I wasn't expecting too much because I knew it was only two uh, out of five chance it was going to happen. So, because the Laporte deal didn't happen, I thought I need to think of another 
good centre back that I can sign. So I thought the English centre back John Stones. So as a, as you can see here, it's still only two out of five chance of signing. So that is unlikely going to happen. For, but I thought I'll go for it. But more importantly, as you can see in the screen, Slatan has joined up with the squad. Now it's absolutely massive signing. Hashtag dare to Slatan. But can I tame his ego and uh, turn him into a striker that could win us titles, trophies, the Champions League, whatever. Uh, but that is a massive boost for the whole team. And as you can see as well, uh, there was a negoti negotiation update on uh, John Stones and actually Julian Draxler. But I haven't decided as of yet what to do with Draxler because of the money. But I did decide to accept Stones. Wasn't too expensive. Young, good English centre-back. Thought it will fit into the team quite nicely. So I do confirm that deal. And that's uh, my second signing of this uh, series. Uh, two decent signings I think so far. If uh, any of you guys recommend any signings for me to do, then just you know drop it down in the comments or whatever, and I'll see if I can sign them. So the time has come to make my Premiership debut as a manager. As you can see here, I'm playing West Ham at Old Trafford, so it's a very tough game to start off with. I am um, just adjusting the team, uh, adjusting the team here. I'm not really used to the team spirit thing, if you've seen the top right corner, so that's going to take a while to get used to. I don't really know what I'm doing with that, so if any of you guys can help me out, then just comment or whatever. I just seen her in a dugout here. So everything's ready, I'm about to make my debut as manager. The teams are walking out now, onto Old Trafford. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect, because you know, it's the first game. It'll probably take me a few games to uh, get used to everything. You see, I give the way, ball away sloppily there, and what a pass for them. And look at that, look at that. That is a decent finish. I'm not going to lie, that was a brilliant start from Fick the Moses with a cheeky chip. Unbelievable goal, and that pass was just as good. Yeah, and Adrian was very happy with that, as you can see. And that was very, very uh, difficult start for me. In the 21st minute, um, I do get the ball past the slat, and Slatan has a shot. What a save by the keeper. Unbelievable save. I was pressing, I was pressing, and they were doing the long balls. And here's another one. Long ball, and Dimitri Payet very closely nearly put his team 2-0 ahead there. Into the second half we go, and that's 64th minute. Slatan just couldn't make a connection. And now we're in the 79th minute. Brilliant through ball. Rooney, oh, brilliant play by the goalkeeper. Absolute pin-perfect tackle. And uh, they had a chance actually in the counter attack and they just hit it over. And they have another chance here. It's 89th minute through on goal. De Gea, what a save. It was one of them games where I was, I was just one pass away from having like a clear cut opportunity in goal. And they were just long balling it, counter attacking, defending well. So it was very frustrating as you can see. I had all the possession pretty much. Just really couldn't get that goal to be honest. And it was a it was a crap start, but there was there were some positives to take away from it. So I did create well, I was very close to creating a lot of chances in that game, and my passing and possession was decent. And that is yeah, that was the first game. It was it was disappointing to lose, but you know, hopefully I can redeem myself in the next episode and win the a few games in that. As you can see the results here: Arsenal won four one. The only shot result I can see in the screen was Chelsea getting beat by Stoke one 0 so it was I wasn't the only one getting beat. And that is pretty much it, guys, for this episode. If you did like it, please click a like and or subscribe. It'll be much appreciated. And the uh, next episode will be more games. Peace. See ya. Bye bye.